How you doing? Bruce Chard here live from the Florida Keys and we're getting ready to do some permit fishing tomorrow so I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite permit flies that's great for a shallow water tailing permit in thick grass. Um, this is called the char Chardy Choker, Bruce Chard's Choker Crab and the reason why it's called that is when a permit eats it and it's in his throat it's such a big fly it looks like he's choking on it. So it's kind of a cool little crab. It's a can throw it really shallow with the deer hair it disperses water and lets the fly land softly and gives it a big profile and low light so it's one of my favorite permit flies and it's got heavier lead eyes can sink good on a little deeper water presentations as well so let's get time okay we're gonna start our permit choker here with some light chartreuse colored thread and a layer a nice base here about halfway down the hook shank and uh, we'll work our way up about quarter inch back past the eye of the hook and we're going to put some nice uh, medium sized lead eyes on here. Now we're going to just do a regular figure eight wrap, three or four wraps on either side just to get it going. We'll do a couple this way and a couple that way that'll straighten out our eyes, kind of lock it in for us. And then I'm going to do some over under wraps. This will help the eyes to stop from rotating as much as possible. Sometimes it's a good idea to put a little glue on the eyes at this time. And again, just kind of build it up with some pretty tight little wraps. So now I'm going to wrap the thread all the way to the back of the hook on this Gamagatsu SC15 Tuat. And we're going to take some tan little craft fur here. And take a nice little squatch of tan craft fur. We're going to make a little little tail on here. Pull the long fibers out. Pull the short fibers out. And then we're going to uh, measure it up about an inch and a half or so back behind the uh, bend of the hook. It's good. Let's tie it right on the hook shank here. A couple wraps to lock it down. Now we're going to take a couple strands of some uh, root beer crystal flash. Don't need many. Maybe we'll take four or five here and we'll just double it over once. Give it some a little bit of flash on the bottom here. Put that right on the bottom or on top if you will. The hook is going to ride a <clears throat> hook up when we're done. So I like to trim the crystal flash a little different lengths. It gives it a little different reflection in the water. It's kind of cool. So now we're going to add a little bit of orange size medium cactus chenille. I love this stuff. It's really flashy. We're not going to put a lot on, but uh, I think it imitates a little bit of a maybe an egg sac color. The eggs, uh, egg sac on a female crab are bright bright orange so this is not a color that's not supposed to be there this is definitely I think an attractor color for sure I'm just gonna make a little base of that real quick and then we're gonna add uh, a couple little feathers here I'm gonna splay them off the back it's uh, just a variant colored feather here that I think is pretty sexy looking we're gonna do just one on either side so I plucked a couple here and what I like to do is I like to measure up with equal length of the craft fur and then where I'm going to wrap the thread I'll, I'll separate the barbules like this give myself an area to wrap on a clean wrap and the key to wrapping this feather on so it doesn't roll is to give yourself some loose wraps at first two or three or four just loose wraps very very loose and I can still adjust the feather no problem I'm going to do the the second feather, measure it out approximately the same spot. Again, clean the barbules. Lay it on the other side here on the side. And what happens is the uh, cactus chenille also helps to set the feather in so it doesn't wrap, doesn't roll on the hook shank. So now I can then I can adjust the two feathers by pulling them together like this and seeing which one's longer. And since I wrapped loosely earlier, I can now adjust them very easily. 
and once you start to tie the feathers on tight that's when they'll start to roll so what I like to do is again wrap loosely over and forward and we can actually pinch the, the feathers a little bit too just try to lock the whole feather down and then you can gradually increase the pressure of the thread on the uh, barbels on the hook shank trim it and now you have a nice set of feather claws coming off the back side of the hook so now we're going to rotate the fly upside down like this and we're going to do some finishing touches here I'm going to put a couple silly legs in here I like these bright orange legs with black bars nice uh, sexy appeal with these legs here these are cool <clears throat> a lot of the crab legs are blue and orange mixtures with with barred markings on them so these kind of work right into the real deal I like to just pinch a couple off and again loose wraps three or four times and I can cinch it down a little harder and we're gonna just lay these straight back they're gonna fall back on either side of the hook it's gonna look real nice so now we're gonna put some body deer hair body hair on here now we're gonna pinch a squatch nice healthy little squatch let me see what I got here not too much not too little I don't know how to describe how much but about that much and uh, trim it close to the base I'm gonna measure this out so it sticks out halfway past the hook and we're gonna we're not gonna spin this we're gonna kinda pinch it on top we're gonna make some loose wraps at first and then we're gonna flare it but I'm not letting it spin and I'm kinda cinching down the thread make a couple more wraps kinda and then slowly cinch a little bit and again a couple more wraps here cinch again then I'm gonna pull this deer hair back put some base wraps in front of it help it stick up straight while I'm pinching this I'm going to take my scissors and trim it kind of short. I'm going to get rid of a lot of the uh, light colored tan barbules on the bottom that flared up backwards. You'll see when you tie the fly what I'm talking about in this video. But the long natural barbules on the, on the back flow back to the back end of the crab fly and gives it a lot of body. This deer hair also helps this fly land a little softer by displacing some water when it lands. And uh, it's got to make sure when you try this fly in the water that you might need to trim a little, trim or pluck little little bits of this hair on one side or the other to make sure it rides just right. Unless you're used to time, you, you can trim it just right by uh, experience. But always have a little pair of scissors with you in your fly box, and you're good to go. So now we're going to do what I think is pretty important with all permit flies: is we're going to put a a weed guard on there and I like to use the uh, Rio saltwater hard materials at 17 pound we're just gonna trim off about three inches of that and I'm gonna double it over in half there's many ways to tie weed guards you don't have to do it this way there's many different ways that they all work good but I like double weed guards so I'm gonna double them over and I leave a little bit left here so I can tie right onto the top of the hook shank Again, I'm going to start up with a couple loose wraps. Then I'm going to pull the weed guard into right where I want to tie it, tight in, tight, and then I can lock it in with some tighter thread wraps. Then I'm going to bend the weed guards forward, kind of pinch it down to the eye and kink it over. I'm going to trim it about half inch above the hook. So now we're going to separate the two to the side, and now we're going to make a couple wraps in the middle around one side of the weed guard and then come back around and make a couple wraps behind the other one individually and then we're going to do a couple wraps straight behind them both and this helps to lock them in and make them stand up straight and then when we're done we're going to simply do a whip finish knot and we are good to go and there is the charty choker crab